If you are so inclined, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'm Zoe. And I'm Odd. And here are the announcements for Tuesday, May 21st, 2024. Don't forget, all detentions must be completed before the school year ends, and you only have a few days left to serve them. They will carry over to next year, so get them knocked out now and start next year off on the right foot. Check in with our friendly campus supervisors to see how many detentions you have. Attention sophomores, the time has come. Please clean out and empty your lockers prior to the end of the school year. Your floor of lockers will be recoded and provided for incoming freshmen in the fall of 2024. Any materials remaining will be removed for you at the end of the school year. Please take the necessary steps to clear out your lockers prior to your last final. Thank you in advance. Tired of the heavy backpack? Finished with those textbooks and English books? Be sure to drop them off early in room eight by Friday and avoid the crowd. During finals, room eight will be closed and book drop off will be in the CTE hallway across from the shop. Room 36 by the elevator. And now a word from your Globe staff. Well, Charlie, that's a snazzy magazine you have there. Thanks, Smritha. This is a sneak peek of our last and most latest issue of the Globe newspaper. Now, did Ms. Schemberger teach you how to play your instrument in middle school band? Have you ever seen Mr. Peck blow up his annual barrel in the quad? And are you going to miss the class of 2024? Well, if the answer is yes to any of these questions, come pick up a Globe issue this Friday, May 24th, to honor the Clayton retirees and our Globe seniors on staff who have dedicated their teaching careers and high school experience to helping make Clayton a better place. And be sure to visit the stands in the commons, the racks around the school, the library here and in the center of Clayton. Thanks, CHS. And now, a message from our Asian Student Association. Nearly half of U.S. Asians, 45%, live in the West, with nearly a third, 30%, in California alone. California has an Asian population of roughly 6.7 million as of 2019, by far the nation's largest. It was followed by New York, 1.9 million, Texas, 1.6 million, and New Jersey, 958,000. A majority of U.S. Asians, 55%, lived in these four states. For GNN Productions, this is Odd and Zoe. Have, Have a, a great, great day, Greyhounds. Greyhounds. <laughs>